I just did close to 5,000 miles in the brand new Xiaomi Neo Tech 3, so let's talk about it. <laughs> So the Xiaomi Neo Tech 3 is the latest sports touring modular helmet uh, on the market at the moment by Xiaomi. Now it does reach the new EC2206 requirements and it has some updates in terms of the lid itself. So talking about that, the technology has been updated to the mesh unit with the Senna SRL3 and the slight uh, performance ups updates to the actual shell of the helmet as well. Now I wore this for at least, uh, well I say around 5,000 miles in total across Europe, through France, Spain and all of that on my Bonneville T100, which isn't really up for uh, touring. However, uh, that means I can kind of have an opinion on the ins and out of this helmet and have an actual thorough uh, review of this helmet now that I've worn it for so long. So let's start off with the comfort. For reference, my helmet size is a large, which means I have a 59 millimeter circumference around my head. So fitting in this showy helmet, I would get a large for that, um, for most brands anyway. The crown pad, however, is a bit uncomfortable because of the shape of the helmet itself being a long oval. Uh, my head is more of a round oval, so I did feel pressure points on the sides of my skull. So I did have to do some sacrilege with the interior of the crown pad and trim some of that off in order to relieve some of that stress. Now, if you're wondering why I did that, it's well because they haven't released any crown pads of different thicknesses to accommodate for our different head shapes. But taking this on and off my head um, continuously over the course of 14 days and quite regularly, I didn't find any discomfort on the cheek pads itself. It's super plush, super comfortable. And if you did shave on your 14 day tour, the stubble doesn't get irritable either. Still under the topic of comfort, I feel like weight takes uh, place in this discussion. So not the actual physical weight of it, but while riding its actual weight against the wind. So is it buffeting or is it feeling heavy? Does it strain my neck? Well, no, as compared to my secondary helmet that I brought with me that I actually use for filming as it has all the mounts for my GoPro, this was like a dream and that was hell. So this really cuts through the wind quite nicely. I found it super comfortable at the national speed limits on those French motorways. And as you know, we have major crosswinds on those motorways as well. I also found that even with the modular system that on this helmet being up in the up position, up to around 30 to 40 miles, it was still bearable and it didn't feel like I had a sail on top of my head. The ear cups, something not normally talked about often, but uh, something that us with bigger ears do encounter with some helmets is the fact that our ears might flip down. Uh, I had no issues with this helmet at all. The ports are perfectly big enough. And as you might know, if you do have bigger ears or if you find your ears folded over for a long period of time, it does get super painful. But with the large ports on this, you won't have any issue. So perfectly fine for my fellow Dumbo ears. The wind noise. Now I'm yet to find a helmet that is actually truly quiet as a motorcycle helmet out on the road, but because that's because I've only had helmets that have either been loud, louder, or ear burstingly loud. This falls into the lowest as generally this is relatively quiet for a modular helmet. And you can actually compare these to other full face helmets as well as being quite quiet in that range as well. But honestly, if you are going along stints, I genuinely think that you should get some earplugs, uh, either some Oxford disposable ones or some Auratech earplugs, depending on how confident you are in not losing them. I, for example, lost one of my Auratech earplugs and had to use my dad's Oxford disposable ones because I can't be trusted with them. Moving on to the day-to-day -day living with the Shoei Neo Tech 3, uh, I'm gonna be talking about how it did against the rain and things like bumping it into hotel doors as my basis on its day-to-day -day usage. Right, starting off with the rain. Uh, as we know, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains. I've heard that my entire life. I don't know where it's come from. But during the rain um, that I encountered in Spain on the motorways, uh, we did encounter some really torrential rain to the point where I couldn't even see the road markings anymore and the spray from the back of the cars actually made it look like I was looking at a white sheet of paper. With that being said, the helmet didn't leak at all. Not through the vents, even though some of them were open, I didn't feel any wetness on the crown on my head and this visor mechanism because of its new shape did do its job in terms of trying to wick away the water and the seals are brand new as to be expected with the new helmet, it didn't leak at all. For the durability, now this is where I feel like the showy faults on. And when I talk about the durability, I do mean the paintwork on the helmet itself. After a long stint on the road, you do go to your hotel room and you're not really caring about whatever you're carrying 
with you, you just want to get into bed. So you do encounter some moments where the helmet does bang up against some things. Now this barely grazed the door handle and as you can see on the back there, it has chipped the paint away quite a lot. However, it did survive what I can only describe as an attack from a pterodactyl on a French motorway. Um, after giving it a resounding headbutt, it did actually flick over the top of the helmet and it has survived. However, the helmet itself didn't accum uh, accumulate any damage to the paintwork whatsoever. So take that with a pinch of salt in terms of its durability on the paint. A little annoyance that I found on the day-to-day -day usage of this helmet is when I do take it off and the modular system is up because that's what you have to do before taking it off. Uh, once you get to your cafe and you want to place it down, you normally want it kind of all closed up. So if you did do that, this is what happens. It slams up against the table and alerts everyone in the cafe that you are a biker. Now, after continuous usage of that, it does get a bit annoying and it does make you question as to whether it's gonna damage the helmet. Now, when it comes to carrying this helmet around on your day-to-day, -day, it is quite easy to live with. Um, the Having a micro ratchet strap means it's quite easy to attach to a bag without having to deal with like a double D-ring, which is, can get quite finicky with a bag strap. The only thing that I have against the micro ratchet strap is it does tend to disappear as it's quite short on the length there, and that can be quite annoying. Now, if you do carry it around with the modular portion up, you, don't, you tend to hold it from the neck or the head port of the helmet, so grabbing it against the cheek pad. And what I found really annoying is it's really easy to rip out. Yes, it's ideal in an emergency, but when you're just trying to carry it around, it does get quite annoying and it does come out quite easily. Let's move on to the center unit, our comms unit that my dad and I used uh, between us for the whole duration of the trip. I really have no like quarrels with the Senna SRL3, it worked perfectly fine, um, especially considering that my dad was using a Cardo. So connecting up this mesh Senna to the Cardo Bluetooth was nice and easy. Uh, we didn't fall out of range that often, and even if we did, we would reconnect once we got closer together. Uh, if we turned the units off and back on again, they would instantly reconnect and realize that they are in communication with each other. So that is all well and nice. What's also nice about this center head unit, uh, center SRO unit, is the fact that it's got Harman Kardon speakers on the inside, so the music was actually fantastic. Sometimes a bit loud, but uh, what can you do? I'd much rather be too loud than too quiet. Um, what else is there to say about this? Well, when we are connected up, the only thing that was a little bit annoying is if we were connected so that we could talk to each other, the music on the center would stop. Uh, whereas on my dad's one, he could continue listening to music as well as talk to me. But that's not really a big issue if you just talk to each other when you want to and just turn it back off again. Your music, your navigation is back up and running again. The reason for it not working with music and talking at the same time might just be down to the settings I have within the app. And I just need to go back into the app and just rearrange all the settings. It's really easy to navigate, so I'm guessing it would only take five minutes, but I was too lazy to do so. Um, another thing that's a bit of an inconvenience, I would say, uh, not for the person wearing the show, but the person on the receiving end, is the fact that this mic will actually pick up the wind noise and put it into his helmet. So even though he's trying to reduce his wind noise, and so are you, you're adding to it by having the connection of your mic to his helmet. <laughs> Something we didn't get to really test out on the Senna and the Cardo was the fact that you can now bring each other into mesh mode, which could mean that on the Cardo you could record its audio uh, if you're into that. However, let's talk about the battery life on the Senna itself. So as compared to both of the units together, as we worked, had them working in tandem with one another, the battery life of them is around 10 hours or so, maybe a bit longer but the Cardo does one-up it in the sense that you can use it and charge it at the same time, whereas this, you sadly still c cannot. As someone who likes to record their journey and this being a sport touring lid, you would expect that it would be okay to accommodate those who like to re like record their journeys as well. Well, these are my personal experiences with the Shoni Tech 3 when it comes to trying to film. I had to take a secondary helmet purely because I couldn't figure out a way to mount it onto this helmet without it being bulky or in the way of the modular system itself. So that can be quite annoying. I brought the Dango mount to try and clip it onto there, but that means you're limited to the use of this bit, um, the button to actually flip it up if you need to. And the center unit doesn't have a mic port yet. So if you did want to try and use some wiring uh, in order to get a mic to record your audio between you and the person you're riding with, you still can't do 
do that, which is a little bit annoying. Something that they could possibly do with a future update with the Senna is to maybe uh, accommodate the audio recording within the Senna unit itself. I feel like it can be easily done in an update, but I'm not tech savvy in that way. But overall, when it comes to filming, you're gonna be quite hard done by with this helmet. So this is more for if you just want to immerse yourself with your surroundings rather than trying to record it. Now, my final thoughts, would I recommend this helmet? Well, yes, if you're looking to tour for a long distance and want an all round uh, helmet, then this is probably your best bet as long as you can fit in the showy helmet. Now you can always do what I did, which was um, <laughs> create some sacrilege and cut down some of the padding on the crown, but I wouldn't suggest that. Just get a helmet that fits you the best. But overall, if you do fit this, this you really can't go wrong with it. It has fantastic speakers. It has the most up-to-date technology. It's able to be ridden with the modular system up or down. The ventilation that I didn't mention earlier is actually fanta fantastic during those Spanish sunny days. And overall, it's a fantastic lid if you can afford it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment down below your questions or your or opinions that you have on the show in Neotech 3. Be sure to subscribe, ride safe, and see you all soon.